Hey guys. Hello. So I'm here to tell you pretty much everything you need to know about an art portfolio, what it is, why is it important, where you can find them, and then how do you make one? Write that down, write that down! So the first thing you may be asking yourself is, what is an art portfolio? Well, an art portfolio is just a big old pocket that is meant to hold all of your two-dimensional artwork. And when I mean by two-dimensional artwork, that's just your artwork that is typically flat, like a drawing or a painting. <laughs> so now that you know what an art portfolio is, you might be asking, why is it important? Why do I need a big old pocket for my artwork? What? While there are many reasons to have an art portfolio, the main one is because you want one place that has all of your artwork stored. Another reason why it might be important is because if you end up doing something later on in life in regards to art, like an art job or an art teacher, you can take that art portfolio that you have to your interview and you can show off all of your artwork that you have. It's basically like a way to do a show and tell. I made this when I was in pre-K. This is me. This is Gigi, and this is our big sister, Tia. The teacher told me to use shapes, so I use shapes. So now that you know what an art portfolio is and why it's important, now you might be thinking, well, where can I get one? And what does it look like? Well, I brought one of my many portfolios to show you guys an example. And this is what mine looks like. It is red, but they come in all different types of colors, shapes, sizes. This one has a strap that can go over your shoulder. Most portfolios have a strap, but they can have just a little handle. It just depends. So as far as where you can find them, you can pretty much pick up an art portfolio at your local Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So obviously I'm not asking you to go out and buy a portfolio. I'm here to show you how to make one. Before we can make it, we have to go to the store and get the supplies. So let's go. I headed to my local Walmart to pick up my supplies. You could head to Walmart, Target, or even the Dollar Tree. What you're gonna need is two pieces of poster board. I chose two pieces of white poster board because it's easier to add colors onto white paper. So the next thing I picked up was some duct tape. However, you do not need duct tape. You can easily put together a portfolio using a stapler. Let's review the supplies. You'll need two pieces of poster board, duct tape, or a stapler to assemble your portfolio. If you plan on using duct tape, you'll need scissors to cut the tape. Regardless of which method you choose to assemble your art portfolio, you need to make sure that your piece is placed evenly on top of the other. If you are choosing to do the stapler option, the first thing you'll need to do is place a few staples, not too many, along three edges of your poster board. You do not want to put staples along all four edges because you need one side to be completely open so you can place artwork inside. If you are choosing to do the duct tape method, the first thing you'll need to do is measure out a piece of tape that is the length of that side. Once you have it all measured out, you're going to take scissors, cut it, and only put half of the tape on one side of the poster board. Then you're going to carefully flip it over and tape the remaining bits to the other side. It's okay if it's not straight and if there's a couple bubbles. Mine sure had a couple. You know you've done it correctly when you have three sides full of duct tape and one side left open for some artwork. So after watching how to make a portfolio using poster board, duct tape, or a stapler, there's still another option to do another DIY art portfolio. All you need is a paper bag, and you can get a paper bag at your grocery store, or you can pick one up at the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have to be white, it could be a brown paper bag. Just remember, an art portfolio is just a really big pocket that is meant to hold all of your artwork and just keep it all organized. So if you don't want to make a poster board, if you just want to stick all your artwork in a little bag, that's still a portfolio in my book and I think that will work perfectly fine. So now that you know what an art portfolio is, why it's important, where you can find them, and then even how to make your own, the very last step is just to decorate it. 
there's really no right or wrong way to decorate your portfolio, but the best way is to personalize it. Draw your favorite cartoon character. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. Draw your favorite book character. Let's have an elephant family reunion. <laughs> Draw what your favorite food is. So do I take this meat to grill just right? I do. You can even put your family on there. Get creative when you're decorating your portfolio. This is art. There's nothing holding you back. Baby, there's nothing holding me back. Just let it all out. This is your portfolio. Personalize it. Make it look fabulous. That is my simple request. Thanks for watching and enjoy making your portfolio.